Hey there, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me and requesting your free video. So today we're going to go over just a few tips that you can begin applying right away that's really going to help with your online presence as well as getting more organic leads. Because nearly 70% of your organic leads come from your website, it is really critical that your website be properly optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right, so we're on your website. You've got a good looking website. I love the um, phone number, making it super easy for your customers to reach you. You have separate pages for each of your major services, which is awesome. That's exactly what you want. Um, you want those separate pages so that you can have enough content built around those services um, or tests so that you can use the appropriate keywords and be found for your services. Now, I'm not sure if you are specifically just a local lab or if people from around the U.S. or agencies send you their labs for processing. So it kind of depends um, on what you do. So if you're a local lab and your focus is local, then your keywords need to be local. Um, that way you can be found locally for your services. If you are trying to compete on a national level, then I would be using national keywords as well. Uh, but those are a lot more difficult to rank for. Um, if you are local here and you're using national keywords, even if you rank for them but you can't help service them, you're going to get false metrics. So you really want your content built around the keywords based on whatever your service area is. Um, let's look here. So you got interlinking pages. That's really good. Some more content, information, certifications. This is really cool. I like this. Um, this is not clear to me as far as who you're servicing. Um, it's clear on what you're testing and your inspection, but not what area you're doing that in. Okay, this is another one of the issues that I found on your website. So these drop down area arrows here, these FAQ sections, um, Google only allows one per page. If you have more of these sections, which you do on the same page, it actually does affect your SEO and you get SEO errors. It reduces your score and your visibility. Um, so you only want one of these sections on a page. Now you could use tabs or um, paragraphs and subheadings or whatever, but just don't use these drop downs. Um, and depending on your service area, if you're pretty much local or within a county or two, you might also want to consider having service area pages. That way you can focus and build your content around that specific city so you are found in that area for your testing services. Um, your top competitor, when I searched your area, is JSE Labs. And um, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that they are more of a national lab. Um, there is mention on their site about government agency testing um, that could still be local. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not sure. Um, but all of their keywords throughout their website, for the most part, are all national. Um, they do have a little bit mention of Portland, but um, throughout their website, it's pretty much national keywords. 
So um, I'm, I'm just not sure. But if you wanted to try and beat them locally, um, it would be a lot of work because they have a ton of pages. Um, but you would have to have more content and really dial in your keyword strategy. And you would have to support your website with SEO because without search engine optimization, you're really not going to be found for those services. So if we look at the stats for your SEO, you have an 11 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which isn't too bad. This score is 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. And while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal. So it is really important to only be focused on those local, I'm sorry, not local, to authoritative um, do follow links so that they give you the power and authority and help you to rank. Um, a referring domain is any website that provides your website with a link from their site to your site. And the backlink is the physical link coming from this other website. Um, and the purpose is just to drive traffic to your website. Now, you have 23 that are do follows. And because Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain, you only actually have 23 good links that are helping your website. You have been indexed for over 600 keywords and you are getting over 200 people to your website on average per month, um, depending on whether you're trying to be national or local, that could be good or bad. Um, I did notice majority of your keywords, you do have one good um, local keyword, local buyer intent keyword on the first page of Google, but most of your keywords are all national or branded. Um, and so if you're not doing things nationally, using near me and other national keywords aren't actually helpful. Um, those are going to give you a ton of traffic if you rank them, but they're not converting into customers. Um, and the same thing goes with blog articles. You, you really, blogs can be extremely important and give you authority and help you in ranking keywords, but you want to focus those articles around the local keywords so you're getting the local traffic, unless your intention is national. Then that's a little bit of a different story. Um, if we look at your competitor, they have a 28, which is really good, um, with over 35,000 backlinks. This is complete overkill for how many referring domains they have. That means 35,000 of those backlinks are considered spam by Google. Um, they have 751 that are do follows. So if you're competing on the same level, you would have to beat their 751 referring domains in quantity as well as quality. And they've been indexed for over 9,000 different keywords and they're getting over 27,000 people to their website, but this is all because of their blogs um, and the national keywords. They're going after, oops, sorry, let me click on here. They are going after high volume national keywords. And so they're getting a ton of volume to their website. So um, coming to their blog article doesn't necessarily help them convert into a customer. Um, but that's where their traffic is coming from, is their blog articles. So um, don't be afraid by those numbers if you are local. Now, um, the last part of this is your Google My Business section here, the maps. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because 30% of people search in the maps and don't search anywhere else. So if you're not in this top three, then you send all those leads to your competitors. In order to be in the top three, there are several factors, but 30%, I'm sorry, are several factors. Um, but the most important factor is your citations, and that's the name of the business, address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, 
yellow pages, and glass doors. So you will need more of those than your competition. But when you follow each of these tips I've provided you today, your website has that opportunity to be number one across Google for your service area and your testing services. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and would really like to get your feedback. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.